In the dark halls of the Vatican, there is a man who wields more power than any other man on earth. He is known as the Superior General of the Society of Jesus, better known as the Jesuits, but he simply goes by the ominous name, the Black Pope. This shadowy figure controls an army of priests and nuns sworn to secrecy and has been behind some of the most controversial moments in history. From orchestrating wars to controlling world leaders, the Black Pope always seems to be one step ahead. But who is this mysterious man? And what does he want? The Society of Jesus was founded in 1540 by Ignatius of Loyola, a Spanish Basque nobleman. The Jesuits were initially created to be an order of missionaries, but they quickly gained a reputation for being fierce defenders of the Catholic faith. They were also known for their education and intellect, and they soon became one of the most powerful orders in the church. The Jesuits answered directly to the Pope, but were also answerable to their superior general, the so-called Black Pope. Saint Ignatius of Loyola first used the title, with black referring to the society's dark and secretive yet powerful nature. The Black Pope is a shadowy figure believed to wield incredible power behind the scenes of the Catholic Church. However, he is shrouded in mystery, with many theories about his true identity and purpose. Some believe he's the true power behind the Catholic Church, while others claim that he is just another figurehead with little absolute authority. The Black Pope is the head of the Jesuits, acting as the superior general, Prepositus Generalis in Latin, of the Order of the Jesuits. He is referred to as the Black Pope not because of his race or skin color, but because of his position in the church hierarchy. It is said that he is second in command after the Pope, making him one of the most influential people in the Catholic Church. The name comes from the black cossack, or long sleeve clothing that Jesuits wear, often seen as secretive, powerful, and omniscient. Although the superior general has authority over all society members, he typically leads through provincial superiors who report to him. Similar to other religious organizations, its power derives from the sacred vows that link members to communal life. After one of the superior generals retires or passes away, another will be elected by a body, known as the General Congregation of Society. If a person is elected a superior general, they have that title for the rest of their life until they pass. However, the 35th General Congregation was called after the previous superior general decided to resign because of health issues. The current Black Pope, known by the name Arturo Sosa, ascended to the throne following the retirement of the 35th Superior General. He is a Venezuelan Catholic priest, elected to the position on October 14, 2016, replacing Adolfo Nicolas and becoming the society's 36th Superior General. He holds the title for the first Jesuit leader to be born in Latin America. The Black Pope rules over Jesuits, and he has complete control over the order's finances, strategy, and diplomacy. In addition, the Black Pope oversees all Jesuit activities worldwide and reports directly to the Pope. The Jesuits are a controversial religious order, and the Black Pope is their most powerful and influential leader, automatically making him a highly controversial figure. He is believed to be the mastermind behind many of the Church's political machinations. As a result, various governments have banned the Jesuits throughout history, and their activities are often shrouded in secrecy. Despite his power and influence, the Black Pope is not well known to the general public. This is due to the Jesuits' emphasis on discretion and reluctance to attract public attention. Nevertheless, the Black Pope is a powerful and influential figure within the Catholic Church, and his actions can significantly impact the world. How much power does the Black Pope have? That isn't easy to say. Some believe he has great power and influence, while others believe his power is greatly exaggerated. While the truth may remain unknown to many, the Black Pope remains as a mysterious but respected figurehead in the Catholic Church. Because of the Black Pope's mystery and secrecy, many people have started rumors, myths, and even theories about the full identity of the Black Pope. Some are a bit more grounded, like the Pope being involved with the Illuminati, while some are more outlandish 
and fantastical, like the Black Pope being able to resurrect the dead. The following are the most famous rumors circulating about the Black Pope. 1. The Black Pope is a vampire. This rumor was started by people who feared the power of the Black Pope. Obviously, the Black Pope is not a vampire, although there are rumors floating around that the Black Pope is immortal. 2. The Black Pope is the Antichrist. This rumor is spread by those who believe that the Catholic Church is evil. The Black Pope is not the Antichrist, although he is a controversial figure. 3. The Black Pope controls the Illuminati. This rumor is spread by those who believe that the Illuminati is a real organization. The Black Pope does not control the Illuminati, although he is rumored to be involved with them. 4. The Black Pope can control the minds of others. The Black Pope is said to be able to control the minds of others, and this is one of the most feared aspects of his power. If he can control your mind, then he can control your actions, which is very dangerous. There are so many stories of people that have done things against their will because the Black Pope controlled their minds. This is not as far-fetched, as the other rumors about the Black Pope being influential as they are can even seem like they have the ability to persuade or brainwash others to do their bidding. 5. The Black Pope can raise the dead Lastly, the Black Pope is also said to be able to raise the dead, another one of his feared powers. If he can raise the dead, he can create an army of the undead to do his bidding. While more outlandish, there are still several people who believe he has the power to do so, and thus fear him greatly. While these rumors may be far-fetched, they show the level of mistrust and fear many people have towards the Black Pope and the Catholic Church. It's easy to think that the title of Black Pope is all glory and power, but as the popular saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility and not everyone with power is responsible. For instance, the Black Pope has been accused of promoting liberation theology, a Marxist interpretation of Christianity that calls for overthrowing capitalist societies. He has also been accused of being involved in various political conspiracies, including the assassination of John F. Kennedy and the 9-11 attacks. The Black Pope is also blamed for the Vatican's involvement in the Crusades and the Inquisition. Critics say that the Black Pope is a dangerous man bent on world domination and is using the Catholic Church to further his own agenda. These claims have never been proven, but they continue to circulate. Whether or not the Black Pope is truly as powerful and influential as some believe him to be is up for debate, but there is no denying that he is a controversial figure within the Catholic Church, and his beliefs and actions continue to cause division among believers. The Jesuits are a Catholic religious order known for being very conservative and opulent. However, they have a long history of working behind the scenes to influence world events. The Black Pope is the head of this order and wields a great deal of power within the church. Some people believe the Black Pope is a force for good. They point to his work with the poor and oppressed as proof of this. They also say he's a brilliant and cunning man who knows how to get things done. Others believe that the Black Pope is up to no good and think he's behind some of the church's more controversial policies, such as its stance on birth control and abortion. Is the Black Pope a force for good or evil in the world? Only time will tell. In the meantime, we need to learn as much as possible about him and his motivations. Only then will we be able to ensure that he is on the side of righteousness. But one thing is certain, he remains one of the most intriguing and mysterious figures in the history of the Catholic Church. The Black Pope is a figure who continues to fascinate and mystify historians and observers of the Vatican. His story is one of power, corruption, and mystery, and deserves to be better known. The Black Pope is a symbol of the dark side of the Catholic Church, and his story is a warning to all who would seek to wield power within its walls. The Black Pope is a reminder that even the holiest of institutions can be tainted by human frailty.